It's a new uh, reality TV show. It's called Dumb, Dumb Joe. <laughs> It's a, it's a day in the life of Joe Little. Joe Little, digital correspondent at San Diego's KGTV 10 News since 2007. Obsessed with bobblehead figurines and George Mason University. Loves his job. This is this one is day one in day the life in of, Joe of Joe Little. Today my story is about the Gaylord Hotel and Convention Center that's being planned for Chula Vista. There's been a lot of debate between the unions who would, or unions who want to construct the hotel and the actual hotel owners, the developer. The developer wants to be able to hire anyone they want, whether they be union or non-union. The unions want Gaylord to hire only union labor, so it's become a huge battle between the two sides, and now it's becoming public. The union's putting up billboards, Gaylord sending out mailers, so it's just, Gaylord's becoming more vocal and fighting back against the union, something they haven't done before, and that's sort of my story today. I'm pulling out some old you have file file footage the that I may file need file. later on today, so I'm just taking care of it now, so I'm not in a rush uh, when I come back to the station. Um, so yeah, there's two tracks in the hotel opens, which is $308 million. Is I understand you're probably not working today, but uh, wanted to get your help with the story I'm working on today. Your friends over at Gaylord send out a mailer. <laughs> As you can see, we have a fleet of blue Toyota Matrix matrices. We use them because they're small, they're fast, they zip around the county a lot faster than the big traditional live trucks. We can get into places a lot, we just park easier. They're actually configured really nicely, although not very masculine. I'm Joe Little in Chula Vista, where the battle for the Bayfront is now being displayed on billboards and in the mail. Now being displayed on billboards and in the mail. Yeah, uh, that'll do. All right, thanks, Doris. Mr. Westbrook, we are recording, okay? Cool. Real quick, uh, can you just say your name and uh, spell it for us real quick for just a mic check? First off, first question, why did you guys uh, go directly to the public in Chula Vista with that mailer? Go big, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. 
Once we're done writing our scripts, we take them to the back and track them into the system. It's time to get a little closer. <laughs> High above Interstate 5 in Chula Vista, a giant billboard asks citizens... Track 6, 3, 2, 1. The local area is what concerns Lemon and other union leaders. Talks between... So, okay. Okay. Great, thank you. Three, two, one. South Bay residents are being asked to pick a side. There are now campaigns supporting and fighting a billion dollar hotel project in Chula Vista. Covering the South Bay, 10 News Digital correspondent Joe Little is live in the newsroom with that story. Joe? How thousands of Chula Vista residents received this brochure in the mail this weekend. It's called the Gaylord Gazette, and it comes just a few days after local union leaders literally posted their opposition on the streets. Kathy Sparks is preparing for lunch at her restaurant Manja Italiano in Chula Vista. She expects a good-sized crowd, but she wants more. Sparks says the city needs to attract out-of-towners, people who could come if Gaylord Entertainment builds its billion-dollar hotel on the city's bayfront. We have this beautiful bayfront that just really needs to be developed. Gaylord is working on a land lease agreement with the Unified Port District. In the meantime, the company mailed Chula Vistans its first Gaylord Gazette, a pamphlet updating the hotel's progress. We believe that it's important for the residents of Chula Vista to know who we are and, and what we're about. Gaylord might have a lot of money to spend on fancy mailers. Jen Badgley of IBEW Local 569 isn't impressed. She thinks the Gazette is a response to their billboard campaign against Gaylord. The union's argument, if Gaylord comes, they'll bring their own workforce with them. There's only one way to make a legal commitment to hire local workers, and that's with a project labor agreement. It's just not true. Uh, in Chula Vista, we've repeatedly stated our plans to hire local workers. Bennett Westbrook says the union's sole intention is to force Gaylord to hire only local union workers, something he says has never happened before. Chula Vista is unique for us in that it's the first city where the unions have actively tried to kill our project unless we take a union-only pledge. Sparks says it's good that Chula Vistans are hearing from both sides, union and Gaylord. Now she wants more. The city needs to consider the overall benefit to the entire city. Now Gaylord has four hotels and convention centers, and Westbrook says none of them have been previously built with union labor agreements. Live in the newsroom, Joe Little, 10 News. Now, Joe, wasn't this whole deal dead in the water not that long ago? How we all thought it was, but Gaylord continued negotiating with the port and the city of Chula Vista, and I guess they're just going to cross the union labor bridge when they come to it again. All right, thanks, Joe.